While the market-based view of competitive strategy has definitely held its own for many years, it's not the only game in town. While an industry analysis using Porter's Five Forces is a great starting point to understanding your competitiveness and the outlook of future moves you might make, that's definitely not the only approach you can take. You may have also heard of Blue Ocean Strategy. Let's compare the two. While a competitive analysis focuses on the blood-stained waters of existing rivalry within an industry, Blue Ocean Strategy wants you to find a way to exit those waters completely, to get to a safe area that hasn't been touched, that isn't blood-stained, where there is no fighting. Create something so new that it's an undefined market with no rival, and you'll have extensive learning curve advantages over new entrants. There's no substitute because the product in the market didn't even exist. There's more value, so buyer bargaining power is actually less of a threat. You're giving them more than they've ever dreamed of. And you do it at lower cost, so supplier bargaining power is also mitigated. All of the five forces that made those red oceans so unattractive are gone when you can pursue blue ocean strategy. Now if finding a niche market of your own creation out of nothing sounds like a tall order, it is. Not every company is exactly equipped to do this or even see the world this way. There needs to be a path from those red oceans of rivalry over to the blue oceans where nobody's really able to compete with you effectively. To leave behind those red oceans of rivalry or skip them all together takes one thing, disruptive innovation. You need to create something so powerful, so new, that the value network associated with your market is as new as the market itself. There's only one way to do that, and that is with technology.